Hey, trillion dollar man here to talk about making big money with cheap penny stocks that have 10x to 100x upside potential. Now you're wondering, why am I wearing a leather glove indoors? Stay tuned, the punchline is coming up. Look, guys, um, I just came out with my brand new book called 10 Bagger Blueprint. It's on Amazon right now. Uh, and this tells you everything you need to know if you want to make 10x to 100x gains with penny stocks. Okay, look, over the last 25 years, I have helped investors like you discover countless stocks that have went up, you know, double, triple, five baggers, 10 baggers, 20 baggers, 50 baggers, 100 baggers. Just in the last two years, we've had already 10 stocks that have went up between 10x and 50x. That's right, 5,000%. Now, um, back to the glove story. You know, I'm... Uh, the other day, I'm driving, and uh, guess who pulls up next to me? That's right. You know, the guy with the isotoners, Mr. O.J. Simpson. Um, and, um, you know, this this got me thinking about something. This is quite fascinating. You know, in the United States, uh, there's a principle which is, you know, everybody is entitled. Everybody's innocent until proven guilty. And everybody's entitled to the best defense that their money can buy. You may not think it's fair, but it's true, right? Look, OJ would not be pulling up next to me, you know, driving his Bentley, um, if he did not have the dream team working for him to say, if the glove don't fit, you must acquit, right? Uh, who came up with that line? Now, what does this have to do with stock promotion? It's fascinating. Look, um, I believe, okay, that penny stocks, it's very similar. Investors correctly, by the way, very correctly, assume that most penny stocks um, are scams, okay? Now, they're not quite scams, but it is a fact that 75, 90% of these stocks will become worthless. Why is that? Because they're just like any type of startup, emerging growth, venture capital type business. It's super high risk. You're in the public venture capital business, and we all know in venture capital, the reason why you can have massive returns is because there's also massive risk. And I talk about this all the time. There's no secret, right? Now look, investors assume that 90% of these stocks, especially smart investors, institutions, the smart money, they assume that most of these stocks are gonna go bust, right? So one of the reasons why a company needs to have effective stock promotion is not only to get the word out to, you know, to massive numbers of investors just to, to drive attention to the stock, but they really need an advocate. Somebody who can explain to investors why this company really does have an upside. Uh, they got to be on a believable platform. For example, like Wall Street Reporter, which is a credible platform. Again, it's like the dream team. Why do you think OJ hired the absolute best lawyers in the United States? Why do you think he did it, right? It's a very, sim it's a very similar situation with these stocks. Look, if you want to have massive results, you got to go with the dream team. And that's, you know, this, this company right over here. That's been around since you know 1843. Um, look, it's very important that investors understand the full upside story of a company, the the catalyst, everything they need to know to be able to make an informed decision, and then the the CEO of that company needs to be out there engaging with investors on a believable platform, on a credible platform, uh, to uh, get the word out on that stock. Now, one of the biggest mistakes I have seen, I'm seeing it right now with a company. Uh, is you have a CEO that's out there that, uh, you know, he, uh, number one is I, I, about a year ago, you know, actually I thought he had a great story. It was a roll-up story, uh, roll-up uh, consolidation story in the tech space. Uh, and the guy's like a great salesman, great salesman. I was on the phone. I thought, wow, this guy could be a massive winner, right? This is the exactly the type of guy we need for a potential super stock. Um, I don't hear from him. You know, I send him a proposal, whatever. Never heard back. And by the way, I turned down so many companies. I was like shocked. How this guy just hasn't gotten back to me. Anyway, this guy went, ended up with going with one of our copycats. One of our, I don't want to say even competitors, but it's a copycat who charged like a little bit less. I think his like this guy's like in-house accountant suggests, hey, why don't we go with a guy who's like a little bit cheaper, right? And of course, he goes with a guy who, by the way, ironically, is a disbarred attorney. I don't know if it's a disbarred, it's suspended, I think is is what they call it in Canada. The guy is a suspended attorney and he's had some other you know, pretty serious legal issues uh, you know, uh, with regulators. Uh, but I, I was shocked that this guy, that this CEO was, I think, a smart guy. He ended up going with his 
you know, a guy who I think is a mooch bum. Uh, and sure enough, the guy's stock has gone nowhere. It's been down. Uh, and then I see now he's on Twitter. Every other post is he's either playing golf or he's, you know, pumping his own stock. And, you know, one of the biggest mistakes, I think, is for a CEO to be pumping a stock his own stock is just a, a bad mistake. It's the same reason why OJ, OJ Simpson, the juice, the juice man, didn't go to court by himself and say, I didn't do it. No, he had, I don't know, was it seven or ten guys who were there representing him, who told the jury, hey, if the glove don't fit, you must acquit. Because look, it's just the way human nature is. You know, as they say, uh, anybody who uh, um, uh, has who represents himself in court has a what do they say he's, he's got a an idiot he's got an idiot for a client and a moron for a lawyer basically it's 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 a, it's a really dumb idea and um, yeah so that's I think this is the reason why we're not seeing that 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 particular stock uh, do very well I think their CEO is making a huge mistake and by the way now if you read my book ten bag or blueprint. You will learn how to avoid mooch bums like this. You're going to learn because, look, the most important thing with a public company, I'm telling you, the most important thing is if you want a 100x stock, you got to have a 100x, 100 bagger CEO. In my book, 10 Bagger Blueprint, I talk about all the key qualities that uh, that 100 bagger CEO has to have. Uh, you talk about, I mean, this book, oh, geez, this has got so much information there. You're going to learn, like, uh, you know how to find stocks which have you know three hundred percent built-in profits. You know, you're gonna learn about the ten bagger window, which is that moment in time. You know, look, these stocks that have these massive moves, ninety percent of that gain is gonna happen within a four to maybe eight week window. So, do you want to wait years for a company that's going nowhere, or do you want to get in right before the thing explodes? If you want to get in right before that stock explodes, you got to read the 10 bagger blueprint to identify identify uh, that moment when these stocks go. What are the key signs that tells you that that stock is entering the 10 bagger window? All right, check it out. It's on Amazon. Here's to your 100x success. I'll see you, my friends, on our next live stream.